This video is going to cover Ableton's Convert Harmony, Melody, or Drums to MIDI feature. Let's start with a polyphonic recording. Polyphonic means you are playing more than one note on an instrument at a time. A chord would be polyphonic, but individual notes that make up the chord themselves are monophonic. Ableton listens to the notes in the polyphonic harmony, identifies them, and places them in a MIDI clip on a track with a grand piano loaded on a sampler in an instrument rack. Let's try it out. Here we have the harmony playing. Now if we right click and move to the very bottom, it gives us three conversion options. Convert to harmony, melody, and drums. First I'm going to click on harmony, but let Ableton think about it for a few seconds. And hey, check it out. We have just saved ourselves some time from listening to the original clip and manually trying to figure out what the various notes are. From my experience, converting harmony gets you close to the way there, but you still have some editing uh, of the notes to do because sometimes some overtones are picked up that are not meant to be included. Ableton's Convert to MIDI feature also has some problems if there's a lot of stuff going on in the track. The first time I converted, it was just the pluck sounds, and even that was still slightly off. But now, let's experiment for a little bit and try the entire song. So again, right click, convert harmony to new MIDI. And let's take a listen to the damage. Elements of the song, like the drums or the bass line, are interfering with the way that Ableton can convert. So try to find a part in the song where there's not a lot going on, but the harmony that you want to convert is still really prominent. And a lot of this can be cleaned up. Like, I don't feel like these notes are being used. Let's just try to take some of these odd ones out. Take a listen to how it sounds. But if you were still trying to recreate someone else's song, something like this would be really beneficial. Because even though we don't have the exact notes and the exact note placement, we can still get a good rough idea of what key it's in or some of the notes that are included. And from there you can start with that skeletal structure and work out to fill it out and maybe add some of your own notes. Now let's take a look at device view in the newly converted MIDI track. Ableton even thought ahead and included some nifty macro controls that are useful for getting the piano sound to fit well with your style or the current project you're working with. Included in the instrument rack are several devices. We have an EQ, compressor, reverb, audio effects, and a velocity MIDI effect. The track's macro controls are mapped to adjust the track's brightness and tone of the EQ, hardness of the velocity, amount of reverberation, and attack, release, threshold, and ratio of the compressor, just to tame some of the dynamics. You might not even use these, but they're there to help you out. Now let's move over to converting melodies. A melody is a sequence of single monophonic notes. Just like with harmony, live listens and identifies the pitches and places them in a MIDI clip. I like the convert melody feature a lot because it lets me get ideas out as fast as possible. Not everyone is a learned musician who can think of a melody and know exactly what notes to play. Let's record a little whistle tune and see what happens. I'll press Command-T to create a new audio track. 
I'm going to arm it. And now you can see my voice coming through. So let me whistle for a minute. Let me turn the click on. So there's the waveform. I'm going to right click, convert melody to new MIDI track. Let's take a listen. That's pretty much spot on. With Ableton Live 9, that's how fast you can get an idea from your head into the program. Converting to melody differs because Live places converted melodies into an instrument rack loaded with a synthesizer sound using Live's instruments called analog and electric. Keep in mind that you do not have to keep any of the instruments used by default when converting harmonies, melodies, or drums. Live just tries to get you started on your way to getting your ideas out as fast as possible. This instrument rack also includes macro controls. This time they have a simple delay and reverb there by default. There's also a knob that lets you switch between synth and piano. On one side we have analog, which is more like an analog synthesizer, and electric, which right now has a sound similar to a piano. And the last thing I'm covering in this video are drums. Live attempts to identify the kick, snare, and hi-hat percussive sounds and places them into a MIDI clip corresponding to how the drums are laid out in a drum rack. This way, if you decide to change the drum rack, the notes will still correspond to the same sounds. A kick will always trigger a kick and a snare will always trigger a snare, unless you decide to use your own drum rack or change up some of the sounds. In my experience, it's best to use simple drum sounds when trying to convert to MIDI. Anything too complicated will not convert properly. The first thing I'll show you is a full song. And this is how it converts. Not quite. If you take some of the stuff out, um, all the lead and bass elements, so right now I just have kick, snare, and bongo. You'll see that it still picks it up, but confuses the bongo for the kick and snare sometimes. It's still better overall that time around. And now just kick and snare. I'm showing you this kind of music because this is the kind of music I deal with. Different genres will definitely work better. But the same principles apply that if you have a lot going on in the track, then Ableton won't be able to pick up on the transients and convert it properly. Here's some other loops that are not the same style. And converted. That's a lot better. Another one. Again, still not quite as perfect, but it still gets you on the right track. And as I've stated before, everything from harmony, melody, to drums, make sure that whatever you're recording is a clean recording with a lot less of the other stuff going on that you're not trying to focus on. If there's a breakdown part and it just has the harmony or the melody, try grabbing it from there. Or maybe the intro of the song has some drums and you can pull the drum straight from there instead of pulling it towards the drop 
or towards another part of the song where there's a lot of stuff going on at once. Similar to how I was whistling before, you can beatbox for the drums. Since you can't beatbox with several layers of things going on, at least not by yourself, then Ableton should be able to clearly pick it up and convert it to MIDI with ease. I would recommend using a click track though to help you keep time, and it'll save you from having to warp or adjust MIDI notes later on. If you have any further questions, or if there's something I did not cover in this video, then just leave me a message or a comment below. If you like the music featured in this video, then check out Soma on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud. I'll post some links in the description. That's me. That's my band. Uh, I make Electro House, Progressive House, Dubstep, Drum and Bass, that kind of stuff. I really appreciate the support on here and all of my channels. It really helps me to make these videos and to keep going. For more engineering production or Ableton tutorials, just check out my channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And never stop making music. Ever.